Hi everybody, I am back with you with another um, coloring book from the Dollar Tree. This is the, it's got purples and reds on the cover. Um, it was just like the last one that I showed you. I, I just did another one, which was this one. See, it's the same thing, only different colors and a different pattern. I just wanted to show you to compare them. Okay, should we get started? This one here starts out the same color. Okay. There's a bird in here. It looks like a hummingbird. There's a mandela. They say, well, I guess this is a mandela because see, it goes around. See? I guess I didn't notice that so much in the other book. These are more traditional mandelas, I guess you would say. Beautiful. I can imagine having lots of fun with these. I just am not happy about the pages. But what you could do is you could copy, photocopy each of these, which I think I might do. That's the way that I might do that, I think. This is a, a what do you call them, two cans? Just photocopy them and then you can use whatever paper you want to use or you know you can use it whatever paper you want to use to copy them on I, I don't know that I'd use just regular plain old copy paper though I think I would use a little bit thicker paper that's gorgeous so is this one this will be fun this one is is a little bit more simple and I kind of like that once in a while beautiful I love ones like this you know the just the, the kind of flower design. This one's going to be a little tough to do. Look at all them tiny flowers in there. Wow. Pretty. I love this one. Love this one. This is going to be fun. This is another one that is, isn't too difficult to do. Almost reminds me of a train, little train going around the tracks. Funny what you see when you look at a picture. It's an elephant. Another bird. Looks like maybe a crow. Or uh, with the deal on the top, looks like maybe could be a bluebird. Some flowers over a traditional sun mandela. What did I say, flowers? Bur they are birds. <laughs> Very pretty. I like that. Look like Easter eggs. Wow, these are really, really busy, aren't they? Wow. <laughs> There's a pizza box. Glass of wine. There's a piece of pizza over there. Spaghetti. Crazy. Ice cream cones. Ice cream bars. I don't know. This one just doesn't appeal to me, but it looks simple enough. Wow. Oh, that one's that one will be interesting to do. Look at that one! Holy cow! Each of these is a butterfly, and then just it gets smaller and smaller. Holy cow! Pretty, very intricate. Holy cow! Oh, look at there! That cat face. Looks like maybe a leopard or something. Beautiful. And lots of, here's a bowl with lots of stuff in it. And this just says the same exact thing that my other book said. Very nice. Very nice. 
I am really so super impressed of at um, the Dollar Tree for coming out with these kind of books. They are they're pretty. They're they're very nicely made. The only suggestion, the only reason they'd probably do them at the Dollar Tree, is because of um, they're only one they're one sided or two sided, where I just I don't like that at all. But like I said, you can get a little bit thicker, like more more construction-y, uh, I don't want to say construction paper, but you know what I mean, a little bit thicker paper, and just copy your images onto those if you want to use gel pens or markers, because those won't, then you don't have to worry about them bleeding through. And then you could just use the other side to color on. Know what I mean? You can use one out of the book and then copy one. So I'll talk to you guys later. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. Please share it if you like this kind of video. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.